voice of an angel. Your father would be so proud of you. As am I, my little firefly. Look how strong you are. <laughs> Look at how far you've come. Thank you, Mama. That means the world to me. I love you. I love you too. Ladies, go get dressed for full run through. Ah, uh, there you are. Girl, you're late. That will come out of your pay again. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, I, my mom, she, what about again? I just, I was wondering if maybe we could talk about, I could, could be in the show or the background or some, something that would pay a little Save bit it. more. Just your presence tires me. Go clean the seats. <laughs> Who's this? She's a new cleaning girl. Oh, I see that now. <laughs> Well, do try and last a little longer than the last one Lizzie brought on. Um, Holland, I think, was her name? That's me. Is it? <laughs> I wonder, I could have sworn. Unless you're related. She was a tall, dark haired girl. A snow white type. Less, less, uh, less curves. <laughs> no? C'est la vie. Top back two, ladies. Uh, Titiana's bit. Irina. Show me some heart. Have at it. Set your heart at rest. The fairyland buys not the child of me. His mother was a waterless. You're all dismissed, thank you. Irina, may I speak with you? Is this some sort of revenge for my Casino's Tatiana instead of Hermia? I, <laughs> we've been rehearsing for weeks, weeks. Are you really this talentless? Or are you just naturally a mighty cunt? How dare you? I am this theater. Do you know how many tickets you will sell without me, Daniel, huh? I'll tell you how many. Zero. That's how many. You were on a brink of anonymity when I stumbled upon this nothing of theater. Now why don't you just sit down and enjoy the revenue? Irina. Do me the honor. And get out of my theater. <laughs> That's a darling sentiment, Daniel. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, how are we? Not bad, ma'am. I got a bit sticky at times, and I got a bit of it off of my butt. We need her, Daniel. Without a diva, who will be performing on stage? The broom boy? You fired him last week. 
I don't care, Lizzie. She's a dreadful bore. Oh, wait, girl. Here. Do you fancy nightcap? <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, dear, what happened? <laughs> Set your heart at rest. The fairy land buys not the child of me. Are you, you drunk as well? No, ma'am. Just hear me, please. You need How did you? You little eavesdropper. Just hear me, please. I will do a thousand shows every night and still scrub these floors if you just give me a chance. I am asking to earn it. Just help me bury my mom. That's a well-devised sob story, girl. But not just anyone can be on stage. Least of all, a red-haired, snot-nosed... Go on. Go on. You're too sad to look at this way. Set your heart at rest. Fairyland buys not the child of me. His mother was a votress of my order, and then the spiced Indian air by night. For often has she gossiped by my side, and sat with me on Neptune's yellow sands, marking the embarked traders on the flood. While we have laughed to see the sails conceived, and grow big bellied with the wanton wind, which she with pretty in the swimming gate, following her womb, then rich with my young squire, would imitate and sail upon the land to fetch me trifles and return again. But she being mortal of that boy did die. And for her sake, I rear up her boy. And for her sake, I will not part with him. Lizzie, make the arrangements to have Miss Mahone's name on the bill. Daniel, you cannot. <laughs> I dare say I can. And while you're at it, send word to Miss Irina that she can kiss my lily white Irish ass. <laughs> but the show opens in a week. Does it? Then we better get to work. <laughs>
I just wanted to say thank you. No, stop. That's the thanks I want. You know, bring them, bring them to their feet. That's the greatest thanks you can give me. You should get dressed. Catherine, the ladies will be here soon. Armor on, as they say. Are you ready?